Hi, boys and girls. I have a great nonfiction book to share with you today. It's from our STEAM Learning for Young Children collection, Grow with STEAM. And STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. We're going to learn a little more about fruits and vegetables. I'm hoping that maybe you'll learn something new today. If you want to grab someone and, and uh, share this book with them, you can maybe ask some of the questions to your friend or your family member so we can enjoy this book together. What do you think this is? If you guessed a banana, you are correct. How do bananas grow? Bananas grow on plants that are so big, they look like trees. The bananas grow in bunches that hang from the top of the plant. Can you peel a banana? How does it taste? The banana skin, also called a peel, covers the banana. At first, the skin is green. It turns yellow as the banana ripens, and later it turns brown when it is old. The inside of the banana is the part we eat. It is soft and tastes sweet. Can you count the fingers on a banana hand? What is a banana hand? <laughs> a bunch of bananas is called a hand, and a single banana is called a finger. That might have been something new for you to learn. How do you eat bananas? After you peel the banana, you can eat it whole or you can eat it in small pieces. Banana. I like bananas. What do you think this is? Did you guess peas? You are correct if you guess that these are peas. Mm -hmm. How do peas grow? Peas grow from a seed that turns into a plant. The vine grows quickly and a small white flower forms on the vine. The flowers fall off and then pea pods grow in their place on the vine. What is a pea pod? The pod is the outside skin. Most pea pods are thin, flat, and not very tasty. Usually, you do not eat them. Inside the pod, there are small, round peas. <laughs> Can you count the peas in this pod? Turn to your partner and let them know how many peas you're counting. And if you're in a classroom, boys and girls, you can write that down. Turn it in. Are there different kinds of peas? Peas vary in sweetness and size. You can eat snow peas whole, including the pod. They're delicious. You can also eat sugar snap peas whole, including the pod. Those are good too. What color? are peas. What shape are these peas? These are all great questions for you to answer with someone that you're there with or if you're in the classroom setting with your fellow classmates there or with your teacher. What do you think this is? If you guessed orange, you are correct. Can you peel an orange? How does it taste? The bumpy skin of an orange starts out green and turns orange as it ripens. The inside of the orange is what we eat. Oranges taste sweet and are juicy. How do oranges grow? Oranges grow on trees. They hang from the branches. How many pieces of orange can you count? How do you enjoy oranges? Oranges can be eaten in slices or they can be squeezed to make orange juice. Is an orange a fruit or a vegetable? <laughs> If you guessed fruit, you are correct. 
I love oranges. They're a great source of vitamin C, boys and girls. I hope you're getting lots of oranges and citrus in your diet right now. What do you think this is? I bet you recognize, recognize this. If you said corn, you are correct. <laughs> Can you shuck corn? I wonder if you've ever heard that word, shuck corn. Have you ever heard of shucking corn? The husk is the outside green covering over the corn. When the husk is pulled down like a banana peel, you can see some strings inside called silk. Remove the silk and you will see the kernels of corn on the cob. That is the yummy part of the corn. <laughs> so when you peel all of that off and clean all the silk off, that's shucking the corn. You're cleaning up the corn. How does corn grow? Corn seeds are called kernels. The planted seeds soften, sprout, and grow into tall corn stalks. Can you name foods made from corn? Maybe you can write a list of things that you've made with corn. Or make a list of your favorite foods that have corn in them. Mm -hmm. How does corn taste? Oh, I would describe it as sweet, but you might have a different description. How do you like to eat corn? Do you like corn on the cob, canned corn, or popcorn? Corn, I like corn a lot. What do you think this is? If you guessed tomato, you are correct. How do tomatoes grow? Seeds in the soil sprout. They grow into plants that make flowers. Flowers turn into fruit and seeds grow inside the fruit. Do you know what else a tomato needs to grow? Hmm, that's thinking about the life cycle of a plant. Every plant needs something important. Soil. Mm -hmm. Water. Mm -hmm. And sun. Mm -hmm. What shape is a tomato? Some tomatoes are round and smooth and others are round and bumpy. They come in different sizes from big to small and their skin can be green, red, yellow, and sometimes purple. <laughs> Do you know what you get if you crush tomatoes? Oh, we have a great picture clue here, guys. And it's one of my favorite things of all time to eat. Anyone who knows Mrs. Sewell knows that Mrs. Sewell loves spaghetti. Yeah. If you crush tomatoes, you get sauce. Here's a tricky question. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? I don't want you to research more about this one, but a tomato is a fruit that we use like a vegetable. But research more about that. It's a very interesting topic. What is inside a tomato? Inside the tomato is the pulp. It is the same color as the tomato's skin. Can you point to the small yellow seeds inside? Yeah. The next time you go shopping and you get a tomato, when they cut it open, when you're in the kitchen, when your folks cut that open, Look for the, the small yellow seeds inside. Tomato. Fruits and vegetables, part of our Grow with Steam collection, and something we should all be making sure that we're eating plenty of right now. Bye.